All right, hey everybody, we're gonna do one last quick video today um, about the reporting functionalities. Um, this will be really quick, maybe like five or 10 minutes, I'm hoping. <laughs> we'll see, half an hour later. Um, so anyway, after you're done with the uh, post analysis, one of the things you can do is look at the reports functionality. This is actually very powerful, um, but it seems kind of simplistic. Okay, essentially what you can do is use this <coughs> to report the data in a tabular format you can then use for other programs like R or Excel or whatever statistical um, program you want. Um, the default factory report is more of like a tidy long format like for R. Um, and so every line is, um, I believe, maybe a peptide or a transition. I don't use it a lot, but if you're putting it into R and you like long formats like tidyverse, I think it could be very useful for you. Um, you can actually select the columns and what you want here they're kind of selected by default but you know if you want to put like vendor in here for example you can you can see Bruker pops up or like run date you could see when we acquired it or time or instrument serial number I don't know why you'd want to but you could um, you can add stuff like every there's just an unlimited number of um, options computer name Hey, look, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to see you required on desktop EQE W33, but you could if you want. Um, okay, what else is important? Um, you can select stuff like from the protein group. Um, you'll see these abbreviations like PG, and they have all these tooltips, so you can go over these to say what it what it means. So you may want to put the protein group gene in there, for example, and you can see it pops up. That's probably useful. Um, Uniprot IDs, which are probably the same as the accession numbers. Um, you could put gene ontology, um, identification. If you wanted to put the protein group coverage, that's probably pretty useful. Um, is a single hit so that's useful too so like if you don't um, limit it to two peptides per protein you could put is it a single hit sometimes I think that's very useful and I think it's either a true true false and you can see is proteotypic um, whether the pro peptide is specific for one protein I think and we can prove that to ourselves for example, this says true, and there should be a number somewhere for number of protein groups this peptide is in. So you got to verify it as what you think it is. Um, if you manually accept, we didn't go over this, maybe I'll do a video later about how to manually accept things. Um, so if you futz with a default like um, integration or, or define a peak some way manually, you can, you can flag that here. Um, what else? protein meta, database, organism IDs, quantitation, there's just so many things. Um, for those of you who like IBAC, um, you can put in the IBAC values. This is that normalization of uh, signal by molecular weight, and that should show up here somewhere once you check it. Let's see, you've got all sorts of things. Um, peptide, I don't even know what three-fourths of half of these stuff do occurring in all protein accessions. Anyway, there's nice tool tips over all of these. Um, so feel free to mess around with it. Let's see. Elution group. So let's see. Compensation voltage found in library. Um, you kind of get the idea what the difference is between a Lucian group and peptide. It's kind of not well defined. Um, but you'll kind of get an idea. Let's see. A Lucian group, I think. 
Yeah, I wish that was more well defined in the manual. Okay, identification. I'll see. Um, let's see. IRT, Apex, retention time, all sorts of other stuff you can do. You don't really have to mess with this too much unless you want to. So like PTMs, um, PTM position, um, you know, candidate score, all sorts of stuff. There's a million different things you can mess around with. So there's an MS stats report. Um, and if you change some of these, you could save it. Um, you don't want to save over a default report. I don't think it'll let you because it's locked. But once you make changes, you can save it as a different report. But we're just going to say no. Um, if you want to export this in a program called MS Stats, which some people like, you could do that. I'm not really a fan, um, but if you want to, you can. Here is the peptide report, which I think each peptide is a separate line in a long format. Here is the protein quant report. Um, you can add or select columns. Here are the pivot reports. So these are kind of what I like. Um, there is a peptide one, and it's pivoted. The protein one makes more sense. Um, the pivot report will have the protein groups on the first column, and then each row, and then the columns will be the quantitation across the different samples. So this you could put right into a statistical program. Um, and if you want to do IBAC or something else, you can. Um, we have a format here, which is nice for us to go into Simplify, which is this nice program um, web application you may see. I will go over a video for that, but I think John already has some videos for it for on Simplify. Um, but this is a program, this is the format we kind of made up to put into Simplify, which is basically the protein pivot um, with the accession and the protein even more... Um, even more simple than the protein quantitation pivot or the protein quant right here, protein quant one, which has other things that Simplify doesn't need, I think. Maybe they're exactly the same. Um, anyway, that's it. So once you have your reports, um, you can go export report on the bottom and it will save the report for you in a tab separated uh, format. Um, you can say that or or CSV. You can actually save it as CSV too. Um, and you could import a report schema so or export it. So like if you have a buddy or a colleague or a collaborator that has a certain report format they like, um, you could import it or export it or share it. So um, this is grayed out PTM site specific report. So if you have a phosphorylation sample, and I'll probably go over one later, um, this is specific um, check boxes for like looking at localization of phosphorylation. And that's sort of it. So just remember to once you save it, you can save it as a schema. Um, you can export your report um, and then put it into R or Excel or whatever statistical program you want, simplify. And that's it. That's it for the report. We're done. We'll probably have an advanced Spectre not talk some other time, or I will probably go over some additional data sets once they're published because I have some um, interesting ones about how we filtered. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks, everybody. Um, let me know if you like it. Um, feel free to leave comments wherever you can leave comments, and um, I'll probably have more later. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right. Bye.